Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is the VBA tip section and today we're going to learn how to select things on your worksheet. So in this case we've got a table here that's named my data and we've got various other things around on the worksheet. If you want to follow along with this, this tip, just go to ExcelExperts.com and under search this site just type selecting things demo you get a list of what we're doing some screenshots and most importantly the code to download and play with it with it yourself let's go to the spreadsheet so I'm going to click start the demo to make it completely obvious what we're doing so the first thing we select all the constants on the sheet then the formulas then all the blank cells the last cell the whole table the first heading in the table, the last heading in the table, the last populated cell in the first column, the last populated cell in the last column, the second column, and the third row. So basically we can select pretty much whatever we want, but selecting isn't the end goal of, of this demo. Selecting is just telling you how to find things that you might want to do other things with later. But selecting is a good visual way of showing you that it actually works. Let's have a look at the code that we use for this. So I'm going to turn off my wait because we don't need to wait if I'm stepping through. So um, let's just comment that out and go back to here. And I'll make this slightly smaller. So. I'm stepping in. So the first thing we do is we pass a range that we want to select and um, a message saying what we're selecting. The message goes here. We then select what we want to select. In the demo, we, we wait, but when we're stepping through, we don't need to wait. So that's all the constants on the sheet. What's a constant? It just means something that isn't a formula. Now we select the formulas. So anything that is a formula is selected. Okay. Then we select the blanks. Everything that isn't populated. We select the last cell. So that is the last cell that's ever been populated on this spreadsheet, which in, in this case is K312. If you want to reset the last cell, there's another uh, VBA tip on xlexperts.com. So uh, just search the site on uh, reset last cell. And then with the data range, we'll select the whole table. Then we'll select the first heading, which is this. Then we'll select the last heading, which will be that. Then we select the last populated cell in the first column. That will be this one. I'll just make sure that we know what we're doing. There you go. And the last populated cell in the last column. That one. The second column. The third row. And that ends the demo. Let's have a look a bit at the code. So all we've done is for the first bit of the code, we use special cells. Special cells is quite good because it does a lot of the work for you. And in that, you just input various things like constants, formulas. And with special cells, we, we, we work, we're working special cells on cells. Cells means the entire worksheet. You can apply special cells to a range. So we could have applied special cells to my data and found the last cell in my data. But instead, we used another method. Let's have a look. So with just says all of these need to use this range, my data. If I put a dot, it means that I'm using that range, my data. So dot cells just means range, my data, dot cells. The next one, so that's the whole table. Cells 1, 1 is the top left-hand 
cell in my data, which is the first heading. Cells one comma one dot end to right is the last heading that starts here, and it's the equivalent of pressing Control and the right arrow. Cells cells dot rows dot count comma dot cells one one dot column. What does that mean? Well, it means dot. We've also got dot end up as well. So what it does is it goes to the last cell in the column of the first heading, which is there, and then it's the equivalent of pressing control and the up arrow to get to the first populated cell going upwards from that last cell. And there we have it. If we started here and went down, that also works as well, assuming all of this data is populated, but it might not be. So the safest way is to go to the last cell here and come up. And all of the others are just variants of what we've already done, apart from this, which is the intersect. So what we say is to select the second column, we intersect, we create a column out of the first row, second column in the table. We make a column of that, which is equivalent to this. And we select the intersect. Uh, if you know set theory, intersect just means the, the things that intersect of that column with the table. So the intersection of that column with that table is this. And that is the second column. That's about it, really. You've been listening to XLExperts.com.